Happy Star Wars Day to everyone. I hope the 4th is strong with you. Here we go. Every month up until the point that Episode 7 comes out, I will be reviewing every single Star Wars movie. Unfortunately, we gotta start here. I'm so sorry. This is the intro, bitch. So, just watch my shit. That's what we're talking about today, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. I'm going to start off by saying I'm only 21 years old. I was born on June 1st, 1993. That's right, I will be 22 in less than a month. I don't know about you, I'm being 22. I was not among the people lining up to see this movie when it came out. I was six years old. I was still sticking crayons up my fucking nose. So I was not one of those people who's like, oh my god, Star Wars, yeah! Let's go into this movie. Now this movie, it's... It's, it's just terrible, guys. Every performance is just blah. Is, is that a term, blah? I guess it is. Like... Oh god, I don't even know where to fucking begin. The force is strong with this one. His name is Anakin, we must train him. Nothing can get through a shield. Every single line, except for Jar Jar, I'll, I'll get to that fucker in a minute. It's just blah. Every perform. I can't even fault the actors because the actors are good actors, except for Jake Lloyd, who played Anakin. That's, that's who he is. I mean, Liam Neeson is a great actor. Brian Mills himself, Oscar Schindler, he is in this movie. Ewan McGregor's in this movie. Natalie Portman is in this fucking movie. I mean, they, they are good actors, and they sold their soul. Now we come to the point, the thing that I really hate about Star Wars Episode One is this fucker. Jar Jar Binks. I, I hate him. I, I really, I hate him like I hate rich people. That dude is so fucking annoying, so useless, that I'm like, why the fuck do you exist? He talks like a black guy in the 1850s. Like, he talks like he was a slave. It's like, no, no, Misa, stay. Misa, no, Cha Cha Beats. Can we hang Jar Jar from tree, please? Then we get to the villain. Now, I'm not talking about... Emperor Palpatine, I'm fucking talking about this guy, Darth Maul. He is the only thing that is enjoyable in this movie. His fight scene between Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon is freaking awesome. He has two lightsaber blades, which I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm like, why do people hate him? He's like the only good thing about this movie. He is freaking awesome. And then he just dies. Why? Why, why does he die? And then there's the pseudo-political dialogue that, I mean, political dialogue can be good. We've all seen movies where that shit exists. It can be really good. But no, it's just more blah. I'm like, oh, God, okay. See, at the when they get onto Coruscant, that's where every child in the world just checks out and goes to play with Star Wars action figures. Hell, that's the point of this movie, right? To sell action figures. I swear to God, that's the only point of this movie. It's just so ridiculous. Guys, I was six years old when this movie came out. I enjoyed it when I was a kid, and then I kind of grew up and learned that it's bullshit. And you can't even enjoy this movie when you're drunk, because I have been drunk and watched this movie. It does not work. I'm sorry. So I gotta say that Star Wars Episode One is dog shit. Be sure to stick around. Every month I'll be reviewing every single episode of Star Wars up to the point that episode 7 comes out, guys. What should I talk about next game movie show? Let me know in the comments below. Hey everybody on YouTube, I have a Twitter page, I have a Facebook page, I have a Google Plus page. So go ahead and hit that shit. The Facebook page is, you know, for Kerna TV. The Twitter page is at for Kerna TV. It's pretty fucking basic. I'll put a thing like here. And the Google Plus page, you you get it. Hit that shit, add me to your circle, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, do it all so you can stay up to date with my shit. What should I talk about next? Game of a show, let me know in the comments below.